Hello, this is the fifth video in a series of life hacks on Suricata rules. Did you know that Suricata has an IP reputation component? It allows you to use external feeds of known IP addresses and customize Suricata's triggers based on addresses reputation. IP reputation can be enabled in suricata.yml. To enable this component, you need to uncomment these lines in the configuration file and provide the correct paths. The categories txt file is a CSV file that contains the ID, name and description of each category. The reputation files are CSV files that list IP addresses, category IDs and reputation scores. Let's look at some examples. First, categories.txt. Here we have two categories. The first one is called CNC, malicious common and control servers, and the second one is Google, known Google host. Now let's open reputation list. Here we have a list of IP addresses with their corresponding category and reputation score. The category is the ID of the category specified in the categories.txt file. The reputation score is the level of confidence that the IP address belongs to the specified category. It is represented by a number between 1 and 127. Zero means no data. The first three IP addresses belong to the CNC category and have reputation scores ranging from 70 to 120. The last subnet belongs to the Google category with a reputation of 100. Now let's take a look at an example rule that employs IP reputation. IP reputation is implemented in rules using the IPREP keyword. You need to specify the site to be checked, any source, destination or both. You also need to provide the category's short name, the operator, less than, greater than or equal, and the reputation score between 1 and 127. This rule will trigger on a communication with any destination IP in the CNC category with a reputation score greater than 50. Let's check if our rule works on a dump of malicious traffic. There is a match. If you want to learn more about using Suricata and practice with an expert, join the new X-Training session Suricata for Incident Response and Threat Hunting. The link is in the description. In the next video, I will share a simple method for extracting potentially dangerous files from traffic. See you soon. Stay tuned.